Well, this time last year, most West Michigan schools were completely virtual. Now that kids are back in the classroom, it can be more challenging for students to learn remotely if they do have to stay home. News 8's Brittany Flowers spoke with leaders of two West Michigan districts about how they are making sure students stay plugged in. Brittany, what are they saying? Donovan and Emily, good morning. For districts that don't require masks, anyone who comes into contact, close contact with someone who tests positive, has to quarantine for 10 days. That means missing at least a week and a half of school. And since not all schools offer a virtual learning option anymore, that could cause kids to fall behind. Last year, the focus of education was on virtual learning. That's not the case now that students are back in the classroom. So, what does that mean for kids who have to quarantine? We know that there's no there's really no replacement for uh, the presence of a teacher in a classroom, right? Jason Craner with Holland Public School says after last year, it's clear learning from home just doesn't work for most students. That, in part, is why Holland decided on a district-wide mask mandate, even before it was ordered by Ottawa County. We expect to have significantly fewer quarantines this year because of our mask ruling. This school year, students wearing masks don't have to quarantine when they've had a close contact. It's a change Craner believes will keep more kids in school. If a child does have to stay home... We'll continue to provide instruction through our Google Classroom uh, class management system. They'll stay in contact with their teachers and have assignments and uh, still be able to uh, continue learning while they're at home. We want our students in class as much as possible because we know that that's the best Thing for them. And so Cedar Springs Superintendent Scott Smith says his district is doing the best they can to adapt, but also recognizing that there are limitations. We just can't, uh, can't necessarily provide that same type of engaging academic experience for students if they're not able to be in the classroom. Rather than putting pressure on kids to keep up, his district is more focused on getting them caught up when they return. As for his message to families dealing with this, to take a deep breath and focus on their physical well-being. Get as much support as they can from their districts, but know that, you know, will help their students get caught up when they come back. Some districts got grant money to allow them to purchase things like hotspots and laptops. So if your child does have to quarantine at any point in the year, it's worth checking in with their school to see what technology is available for them to use at home. Reporting live this morning in Kent County, Brittany Flowers, News 8.